Welcome back to Fabulous Fabulous Reviews. I'm Fabio and today I'll be reviewing the Google Nest Learning Thermostat and Nest Temperature Sensor 4th Generation. So let's get started. You can see you just remove the uh, two little tabs that are cardboard from the actual package. And it has that big 70 sign there. I guess uh, they like the temperature of 7 degrees there in Google. And that is the polished gold version that I got very very shiny to me it looks like a crystal ball or one of those magic eight balls there see what's going to tell me when i turn it on now you have the new nest temperature sensor that's the fourth generation smaller uh, it doesn't have anywhere that it says nest it really just has the g for google on the back so underneath that you have the actual base plate where all the wires going to connect it the instructions in there you'll have the uh, stickers for the wiring now you have the trim plate as you can see, the trim plate is nicely covered. It is now in a grayish color. It's no longer white compared to the other version of the uh, Nest uh, Learning Thermostat third generation. You do have there the metal plate, and you also have the uh, screws. You have the two wall screws. You have two long screws, two short screws, and you're going to have the sensor wall screw. That's that special one, so you can uh, put your temperature sensor on the wall and it can just hang there besides that it's that simple of unboxing and we're going to start doing now the actual setup so as you can see in the background i have the uh, nest learning thermostat third generation which i'll be switching it out to this new fourth generation and installing the nest temperature sensors uh fourth generation a total of four of them now again it's real simple first is just removing the screw from the base plate as soon as you remove that screw the rest is simple. It's just removing the wires that come uh, attached to that uh, base plate, which I attached, which is the yellow, the green, the red, the white, and the brown, which is the uh, control one. As soon as you press down on the actual clips, the wires will come out. And then it's just installing the new uh, base plate from the uh, actual uh, fourth uh, generation. As you can see, they're both very, very similar. It's just that one is smaller than the other, and the new fourth generation has a new line that's called AQ Plus and AQ Minus. Besides that, it's just removing the trim plate. Mine got a little bit stuck from the paint. Cut it out, and then you'll be exposed and uh, have the wall exactly as it was, and installing the new plates. As you can see from the uh, fourth generation faceplate, it is now more oval and it is a darker color compared to the uh, third generation which was white and rectangular so what you got to do next is obviously just install the screw to the wall for the base plate to connect to the face plate and then you can see it still has the level there and all the wires that need to be connected so you just use now the fourth generation thermostat and you just pop it in into the uh, face plate and base plate now it gives you the uh, tells you to go to your Google Home in three different languages, and the rest is very self-explanatory. As you can see here from the video, it's choosing the device. Uh, obviously, we're doing now the uh, thermostat. It's the uh, new fourth generation that you pick, and it's starting to connect. After it's connected, uh, you use the language that you want to use. It tells you the wire testing which ones that you connected and it's pretty much just checking for you and see if everything is done correctly <sighs> besides that it's you know here we use uh forced air and electric for the uh, cooling and heating we do not have uh at this home uh, any uh gas for that so once it's set up it's looking for the wi-fi it connects to the wi-fi once it's finished connecting that's it you're all set and it's pretty much ready to use obviously the next things is where is it located and it has this automated system that way it can sense your routines uh, use your phone as a location device see when you're getting home and it starts setting the temperature at what you want now 
the thermostat has uh, features of uh, learning the temperatures that you want to set it at. Now, it's all there. You can choose the temperatures. This one comes with already uh, preset temperatures of 69 and 75. You can change that anytime you want. Um, shows you how to rotate the uh, bezel and it's still a uh, push in uh, and twist. Uh, the downloading takes really, really long, believe it or not. Even with the editing, it took pretty uh, long time. But after it's done downloading, I say it takes about another 15 minutes or so for it to download. You get the uh, Google, Google, <laughs> Google emblem. And besides that, it's ready to go. It sets your temperature already what the house is. It does have that motion sensor, as you can see. And believe it or not, the way it protrudes, it's almost the same thickness as the third generation uh, thermostat. Now, moving on forward is the setup of the um, Nest uh, temperature sensors. Uh, one came in the uh, actual fourth generation thermostat and I bought three more to put around the house that is the actual screw that's used for the wall same concept as before it's you know looking for the device what kind of item we're connecting this is going to be the nest uh, temperature sensor scan the QRU code and then again uh, uh, addressing all the legal rights setting up the sensor pulling out the tab it uses the uh, battery for it um, testing the connections where you put it at and believe it or not it's that simple it's just a connection it tests a distance it can't be uh, more than 50 feet away according to what they want it has to be two feet from the floor two feet from the ceiling and again you can either put it on a table or you can put it against the wall that's it and the device is ready it tells you where you want to put it. I put one in the master bedroom because my bedroom is the most coldest or the hottest room in the entire house, believe it or not. That's one of the reasons why I wanted this uh, sensor. That way it can uh, help with uh, controlling more of the temperature in this part of the room of the house. Uh, it tells you there that you can schedule different times for different sensors. Uh, right now, after setting them up, I can see that the house does have different temperatures throughout the house. Setting it up at 79 degrees, I have a part of the house that's at uh, 81, another part is 80, another part is 79, the other one part is, uh, believe it or not, at uh, 80 degrees. So that was it for the uh, setting up of the Nest 4 uh, generation thermostat, but I have one in my basement, an old school one. Now, with the uh, third generation, what I did was I switched it out for this older one down here. That way, uh, both houses can have a smart thermostat. Uh, this is just a quick rundown. It's pretty much the same thing. I just wanted to show if anyone's interested in uh, putting in their third generation thermostat into an older one. This one is going to be a short version of the same thing of putting the wires together with the uh, third generation thermostat. Now, this had a jumper from RC to RH, but it still has the colors of uh, yellow, green, red. And the cable did have a brown cable, which is the uh, control one, which is, I was able to uh, cut out and put into the wiring. Again, pop in the... Uh, the thermostat go through the whole entire procedures it's simple it's gonna do the same thing to go into your well this time it's not going to be your google home uh thermostat but it's going to be the uh, nest thermostat outside of that that's the old one now my rating for this uh fourth generation uh thermostat really is a four out of five i don't see much of a big difference from the other one but you know, that's just my taking. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please remember, if you're liking these videos, subscribe. It'll help me out uh, knowing that you guys like this. And if you can, also um, comment. I like to hear comments, uh, give you guys uh, any feedback. And I want to thank you guys for everything. Please be safe. God bless. 
and I'll have another video for you shortly. Bye.